One other example of a, of, of, of a problem from, from the same book, uh, which I rather like. Uh, and this is interesting because it seems as though we haven't got enough information. It's about the problem of the birds. Supposing you buy some birds. You might buy three sparrows for a penny, two turtle doves for a penny, but doves, being more expensive, cost you two pence. And supposing you buy a lot of birds, in fact, you, buy, you spend 30 pence and you buy 30 birds. How many of each kind do you buy? And the problem is you, you've, got, you've, got some, you've got some information here, you've got some information here. You have two equations, but it seems you have three, three unknowns because you want to know how much each of the birds costs. But in fact, there is more information here. Uh, it's assumed that you buy at least one of each bird. And the other thing is that your answer is going to be whole numbers. You don't buy fractions of doves. <laughs> so with that, we, can, we, can, we in fact do have enough information um, to solve it. Because here are our two equations. First of all, the number of sparrows plus turtle doves plus doves is 30. And if you work out the cost, the number of pennies, uh, you've got three, 3 for a penny, so S over 3 plus T over 2 plus 2D is 30. So here are our two equations. And we can get rid of one of the, one of the letters. Uh, well, I've actually cleared of fractions here by multiplying this by 6. So I've got 2S plus 3T plus 12D equals 180. Don't worry about the details of the, of the calculation. But it, you can actually eliminate one of these. Let's lim eliminate S. And this tells you that, that T plus 10D is 120. And the first thing you notice is that this is 10 times something, this is 10 times something, so t must also be 10 times something. Okay? So t is 10, 20, 30. Well, it can't be 30 uh, because we've already got, um, uh, um, we're only allowed 30 birds, and you must have at least one of each type. So, so t is 10 or 20, and if you look at the possibility, of, if t is 20, you found, find that d is 10, and then you find that S is 0, and we don't allow that. So the only possible solution is T is 10, D is 11, and S is 9. 